lot of instances here at BuzzFeed where I'm like, wow, my job is really weird. <laughs> I have one story in particular from when I was filming this series called F it, and it was like a scripted show and I was one of the characters but I was producing one of the episodes. I had to cast someone to be this guy that I'm like making out with passionately and like he's throwing me on a bed and we start to like literally well, not literally, have sex. We didn't actually have sex. It was one of those scenes. It was just really awkward to have to be like, okay, so I need to find someone that I feel comfortable making out with, but who's also an actor. And I have to be like, hello, man, who I don't know very well. I need to make out with you. Also, I'm the one producing the video, so I'm choosing you to make out with. I was super awkward on the day. I even had a beer, because I was like, I have to calm down. And then I was like, oh, my breath smells. And I'm just like, is it hot in here? Just like saying that a lot. It wasn't. I was just really, really hot. And of course, you have to do take after take after take. And I'm like, here we go again. And then like afterwards, I just let go of him and I can't go near him anymore. And it was, I don't know, it's just a very strange thing to have to deal with. Four years ago, when I first started, I was an intern. And one of the things you would do as an intern was you would sign up to do prop runs. I volunteered to do a prop run to a sex shop. This particular shoot, they needed a bunch of random shit. So I went to the sex shop, was like filling up my little bag or whatever. A lot of things, lots of penis shaped things. Sex shops are awesome, they are not bad. But I have to say like buying that much, I was like, hmm. When I was like gonna check out, I was like, should I say something like this is for work, ha ha ha. And then I decided, no, nah, I'm just not gonna say anything and they can like think whatever they want because like f it. But it was still like a moment where I was like, wow, this is my job right now. There was a video, I think it was about a year and a half ago where people tell their parents via Skype how they lost their virginity. It was set up like it was supposed to be this game where the parents ask questions and you kind of lead to it, the tension builds and then finally, Surprise, you tell your parents that it's supposed to be this great idea. When this idea was being pitched, I remember the only thought I had was, this is gonna make such a good video. Like I was genuinely, there wasn't one thought in my mind that this was a bad idea or that this would be weird or what would the holidays be like? You know, like I immediately was just like, this is amazing. I call my parents up and they're sitting there and they have no idea. They have no idea what is going on. It was interesting how it still took like five minutes into it for me to realize that this was an awful idea because the story involved breaking and entering. It involved, my parents thought I lost my virginity when I was like 25. I was 16, no judgment, but 16. We like broke back into my parents' house. We like had sex like on my dad's like bed of tools, which is unsanitary, rude, and dangerous, all in the same act. I guess I didn't really think about what it was gonna be once it was over. Because, you know, the video, they say cut, but you're still on Skype with your parents. So after I've like told them this and they are mortified, I'm just like chilling with my mom and my dad, realizing that within like a month or two, I had to go home for the holidays. And of course, I mean, you can imagine, it created an incredibly awkward thing. There was like a line from my dad, which was, I thought you were different which was great. My mom said something at Thanksgiving was, no, I'm not upset. I was just, I was naive. Which is just like, she's just trying to like, they were playing hardball. No one pitied me, because all of my friends home were like, why did you tell them? What was going through your mind when you thought this would be a good idea? And that's the reality is, is that, I don't think I actually thought about this game until they yelled cut. So maybe that was an amazing producer. An amazing producer and a dumb daughter. Usually when BuzzFeed does videos, we usually send out a casting call. One of the videos that I saw in my email was titled, Casting, Build Your Own Vibrator. And I was like, wow, that's really intriguing. First of all, I don't dabble in sexual things very often, so it was foreign territory, so that interested me. Second of all, I really like building things and very hands-on things. A little while later, I decided to reply. I answered them in full honesty because Honesty is the best policy. And also I felt like I knew this person well enough to share these details with them and they wouldn't care. The first question was, how knowledgeable would you say you are about sexual health and sex toys? And I'm not very knowledgeable about either of those. And then I also included a little tidbit fact about my sex toys. Second question was, on a scale of one to 10, how handy or tech savvy would you say you are? And so I wrote, I am very tech savvy. And then I hit reply. I reread what I wrote and I was very pleased with it. All of a sudden, something compelled me to check who I sent it to. It turns out that I had hit reply all instead of reply, sending it to the entire LA BuzzFeed office 
as well as the video department. That was how I ended up in that video. And I consider myself as a very tech savvy person, but I countered that fact by sending it to the entire office. <laughs> You know, we do a lot of weird, funny stuff at BuzzFeed. I haven't even been working here that long, but one day somebody brought in a sex toy to the office. And it wasn't just any sex toy, it was one of those giant butts that's like sculpted to look like a famous porn star. And then you have sex with this like disembodied butt. Somebody wanted to make a video about that. I don't, I don't know what the video was. I don't even know if it ever got released. The person making the video decides to open it up right in the middle of the office floor. Just sort of like, oh, here's this cardboard box and oh man, here's a butt. And everyone's like looking over from the balconies. People are crowding around it. And all of a sudden we realize it's not just a model of a butt, it moves. It's an electronic butt. It vibrates, it jiggles. Everyone's just mesmerized like, wow. They can make this, but they can't cure cancer. And you know, it was it was a nice looking butt. Probably pretty famous butt. I mean, I, I've never heard of her, but. That was just Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. Day in the life of a BuzzFeed employee. It really, this was probably a pretty tame story, all things considered. <laughs>